In West Ryslip, this used to be a golf course with a pub. Now it's part of Europe's biggest infrastructure project, High Speed 2. Today, its first tunnel boring machine in London began its work, named after a teacher from Greenford who turned it on to start its journey. Um, I think you have to do your research and what it, you know, the, the impact it's going to have in the future. I mean, in terms of jobs, in terms of um, the connections it's making and just promoting engineering and the, the industry and all the jobs that are going to come with it. These machines have taken four years to build. 1,200 people now work here on the site. Eventually, a series of tunnels will link to Old Oak Common and Euston. We're right inside the tunnel boring machine now and this is going to drill for five miles until it gets to Greenford and once they start they don't stop. It's going to run 24-7 for 22 months only stopping for Christmas Day. From the Chilterns to Camden there have though been many protests against HS2. Some can't see the benefits. Homes and businesses have been destroyed and many are angry at the damage caused to the countryside by construction. Well, I think we've got fantastic momentum now. I mean, we talk about growing our economy, investing in infrastructure and, and investing in high-speed railways where we're going to decarbonise our transport system. Over 27,000 people on the project now, so the sort of jobs and skills, we're building a workforce for future generations. So, yeah, I'd like to think we are changing hearts and minds. A controversial project, always under scrutiny and not always loved. But a big step forward today in its construction. Tom Edwards, BBC London.